Okay, welcome back, Sweden, to your Caribou Data Science channel, and welcome back, Twitch family. Thank you. Thanks so much to my Twitch family for hanging in there during this screencast. Uh, better things are coming. Uh, again, once you finish these reports, we'll be reading a few pages from Ernest Hemingway's book, A Movable Feast. Now we'll be followed by some, some, some more SQL exercises, probably from the SQL for Data Science book, is my guess. Okay, so is anybody lurking out there? Nobody I can see. Oh, I see Daniel Chen out there. I see Daniel Chen. That, of course, is Dr. Uh, Daniel Chen. Okay, this is Sweden. So let's go and far up Sweden's report. You know, I've, I've been told that most of those people on this list you see up there are actually bots, but I know Daniel Chen is, is, isn't a bot. Okay. Well, that's not, that's interesting. What happened there? This is interesting. Let's try this again. Before it worked fine that yesterday, Hmm. Interesting. You know what that's do? Rather than troubleshoot this. I'm actually I'm actually going to give the Sweden a, a promotion. I'm going to promote him to the uh, to the new improved version. Yeah, I'm, I'm not quite sure why that's doing that for. I'm going to use the U.S. Not quite sure. Okay, so it doesn't seem to say the U.S. anywhere. So let's try this new and improved report, which is actually done for the US numbers. So you go, you go see this report a second time in a couple of minutes here. This report's a little different. It'll be, it'll be divided up into two sections. The first section is the, is the, is the cases. The second section is, is, the, is the deaths. So what this tells us here is that Sweden has had uh, 1.27 million cases, 15,265 deaths. They're currently averaging uh, 
1,840 cases per day. Well, to give them a total of the next 12 months is 671,617 cases. They're currently averaging 23 cases per day, which projects out to 8,467 deaths over the next 12 months, if not fewer. So let's take a look at the first the monthly the, at the case numbers. You can see that 2021 has uh, cases at past 2020 uh, cases for the uh, for Sweden. Uh, well. So it looks like one, two, three, one. Quarterly cases. This must be the third quarter, right? No, this is the fourth quarter. Okay. First quarter, second quarter, third quarter. Okay. Okay, the quarterly cases, they're not looking too bad compared to compared to these quarters over here, okay? What about uh, monthly cases? We can see here, Sweden's numbers for, for monthly cases was pretty doggone good over here. Unfortunately, the last month is going to be an uptick, okay? What about cases by week? Well, you can see big declining pattern down and through here. This line here would be 5,000 cases. So unfortunately, uh, Sweden uh, uh, cases aren't really ending up very good. Okay, and we're going to see that in a moment also. And you're going to see that over here. And I'm not sure, yeah, again, what is this number doing over there? That's a big spike. And to me, that's, that's, that number is pretty crazy high. And what you can see over here is this long declining pattern in COVID-19 uh, cases, okay? But what we do know is that uh, these spikes, okay? Again, big declining pattern down over the, the mid-July, uh, September maybe. Then we had this spike up here the last four or five weeks, okay? Now, what about deaths for Sweden? Well, again, you can see the 2020 COVID-19 deaths for Sweden are going to pass 2020 deaths. Quarterly deaths? Well, this is good news. I mean, uh, wow. Okay, the last two quarters have been pretty doggone good to Sweden in terms of deaths. Okay. What about... Uh, Monthly deaths. Well, look at look at these crazy numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven months in a row. You had a decline in COVID-19 deaths, and even even now you're going to finish up this number. This is 500 deaths for the month. You're going to finish up with a, with a four month in a row. You're, you you know you're going to finish up with pretty doggone good numbers here for COVID-19 deaths for Sweden. Okay. What about uh, weekly deaths? Had to come back and fix that. Again, look how crazy low your deaths were. This is 125 deaths. Look how many weeks in a row, Sweden, at your, at your deaths, were, your weekly deaths were under 125. And we come over here again. We can see this this big declining pattern in 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 uh, in, uh, in daily deaths. Okay, 17 on 12:22. With an average of 9.1 deaths. Now here's a here's a here's a curious question. For every 100,000 people in Sweden, how many people currently have uh, COVID-19? Well, on average, it's about two. Does spike up here to two points, a little high, but you know the average number, the blue line, is very close to 2.5 people. For every 100,000 people in Sweden, 2.5 have COVID-19. What about deaths? Well. Well, you can see here that uh, the deaths per 100,000 right now are pretty doggone crazy because this is one. This is a half a person. So well under half, of, for every 100,000 people in Sweden, well under one half of a person is dying from COVID-19 right now. Okay. 
So that concludes the report for Sweden for today. Okay, that concludes the report for Sweden for today. Thanks so much, Sweden, for stopping by the Caribou Data Science Channel today. Now, Daniel Chen, I can see you. I can see your handle out there. I know. I know you're there someplace. Just don't be shy. Step into the uh, chat session. Just, just say hi. And let me know how you're doing today. So that, con that does conclude the report for Sweden for today. With one more report to go, the U.S.